our education system is so dated, the only useful thing we get out of it now is the ability to read and write. For us to move forward in this exciting time, we have to learn more than they are teaching us in school. Open communication, the ability to research, to learn in a three-dimensional way, and being able to adapt to the changing times, that is the way forward. These are the lessons in being an entrepreneur and why the education system needs to take note. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Jamie Brown of The Hedge Teacher. This channel was about sharing information to help build your financial intelligence and your awareness around health and money matters. And I'm passionate about educating, inspiring people in wealth and wellness. You see, to be whole, you need your health with your wealth. Times have changed. There is a new type of money master in the world today. It is you. You have to get onto this new page, into this new chapter, and in this new book. It's a new way of thinking, of being, of understanding. Join me on this journey now. Why the education system needs entrepreneurs. Now, a lot of people think that education happens only inside schools. An entrepreneur doesn't think that way. They know that you can always learn something wherever you are and whatever you're doing, and whenever you're doing it. It's a bit like thinking that business only takes place in offices, instead of knowing that it can take place anywhere and everywhere. The most important part is in your own mind. If you're curious, if you ask questions and want to find the answers, you can always find a better way to do things. The most important thing you learn to do in schools is how to read and write. If you can understand something that can describe it by either talking about it or writing about it, then you're well on your way to becoming a successful entrepreneur. Remember, you are responsible for your own education and now the new education for your children. This includes a heck of a lot more than the outdated industrial age education they are still being taught today. We have to be and to teach being street smart, money smart, health and fitness smart. To show how to adapt to changing times and go with this new flow of artificial intelligence and blockchain technology and the untold new opportunities that are presenting themselves to us every day. We cannot stick our heads in the sand and believe everything will be okay and that later on in life we'll be taken care of because we won't. In Australia, they have found out the hard way. People are running out of money on an average 13 years before they die. If there's no family to look after them, they are ending up on the street. That's not the way I want to end up, and I'm sure you're the same. I also found out the hard way that ignorance, especially financial ignorance, costs you now and in the long term. If you're willing to learn at any age and are flexible in your thinking, you can shape your education around what you really enjoy doing and not around some idea that this or that will lead you to a job with a good starting salary. No, there can and will be many changes in your life. Don't allow yourself to get stuck with the only job or occupation you know. Be able to bend with the wind and to adapt quickly. I know, I've had 23 different occupations in my life so far. So if you're stuck in a 9 to 5 job, just off broke, think long and hard about the possibility of working for yourself rather than for a salary. Jobs come and go very quickly these days and there is no job loyalty or job security. Again, I know. You have to be responsible for your own future. No one else is going to take care of that for you. So what do you really like doing? What gets you motivated? What do you love talking about? Would you like to make a career out of it for the foreseeable future? Then write it down. Do some research into it. Let us see how far it can take us. What qualifications and skills do you need for this type of work? 
Is it a college degree? Or can I get actual experience in the commercial world instead of having to go to college and come out with a huge debt? The sooner you get this experience, the better. Then you have more of an idea and be able to analyse whether you should go to college or go for the life of an entrepreneur. You know, these days there are a number of people doing both with the internet, YouTube, multi-level marketing increasing at an amazing rate. We have the know-how at our fingertips to make this happen easier than ever before, especially as one pays for the other and apprenticeships are coming back into favour. This opens the door for a whole new set of possibilities. Do you remember the movie Sliding Doors? It was about how one door closes and another door opens. These things present themselves to you at the right time and whatever path you decide to go on or to go down, it will be the right one for you. The lessons you learn on the way are right for you at that time. The hardest thing sometimes is realising it. The good thing is that today so many people have learned the hard way already and are willing to, to make this journey easier for the rest of us. With artificial intelligence and machines doing more work, it really is one of the fastest growing areas today. There are many entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs figuring out the best ways for machines to replace human labour. So what does that leave us humans to do? Only the most exciting work of all. The work of being creative, of being able to solve problems that machines can't understand. Of having those wonderful flashes of intuition that lead people to design things, to, de de to bleh, design things for the future that no one else has yet thought of. As Carl Hess says, it means painting pictures, inventing things, discovering, doing all the things that people can do that machines can't do at all or can't nearly do as well. Remember, an entrepreneur, no matter how old or young, is someone who can look at the world and everything in it with a completely fresh point of view. The flip side of this is that you also need to be aware of the many ways that non-productive people will try to tie you down as you become more productive. Yes, you need to learn about licenses, laws, taxes, etc. Although there are many laws that are there to slow you down, there are many others that will help you grow and develop your business to be hugely successful. You need to be an entrepreneur, to be in your own business and to take full advantage of these. You know, and the beauty of this is that if things are not working out, you can change. I would like to recommend some reading for you. The Uncle Eric series of books by Richard J. Maybury. He discusses many points in the books and he feels that if we again integrate these into our lives, we will all be better people. And he says to remember the two common laws of old. Number one, do all you have agreed to do. And number two, do not encroach on others and their property. My question for today is, what are you passionate about? And something that, what could you do to make a career out of? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher, educating, inspiring people in wealth and wellness. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends and family. If we don't hedge your own future, no one else will. Until next time, see you soon.